We can swim with. I'm Andy, and I'm George, and welcome back to the Winnie the Horses. The Anaphor Transit here is better. Don't do that! Do you prefer Volkswagen Crafter? Actually, I like Iveco Daily. You like Iveco Daily? Yes. You like Iveco Daily? Yes. Okay. That, that's the van we're dealing with here. Yes. She's got a van in her name. Don't make that kind of jokes again. It's objectifying. Literally. <laughs> so, um, this video is made by Zora. I didn't know this video is made by Zora. Well, it's made by Blackbriar. But it, it's, it's more punchy to say it's made by Zora. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's not. Yes, it is. So this is Unleash the Siren, the second single from Diane off of her upcoming album Solar Bound, which will be fully released sometime. She's releasing it song by song over five years. Yes, two songs a year. Like this. Yes. There's videos and everything. The whole shebang. Flamboyant. Fabulous. I'm a fanboy. I shebang. Type. Shebang! This is one of the classiest people in the world and you use the phrase shebang? It's bombastulous! I mean, in all fairness, I compared her to a fan, so... I'm better than you. Are you ready? No!
<laughs> no, seriously. How? That was so well made. Yeah. It creeped me the fuck out. You know, I don't know. You know when people say I'm speechless? Yes, they're not actually speechless because they say it. Yes, I've actually experienced being speechless for the last three minutes of my life. <laughs> I like the part where like the dark Diana demon thingy was dragging her. That reminded me of my supervisor dragging me to do my thesis. That's kind of how I progress in my personal endeavors. That's the pace and the, and the stance and the attitude. You really gotta make everything about yourself. <laughs> yes, I do. Right, so she said some things about this song. And so after the storm was something like, well, basically you've just been through a storm. Some horrible things happened. You're hurt. You're broken. And like, that's where the story that she's saying with these songs starts. And this one, is something like when all of that has passed, the storm in here starts. So, and it takes the shape of Dark Diana and goes all later on you. Yeah, yeah. So I was really thinking as, as soon as the snippet started showing up in the video with the claws and with the figure and everything, I was thinking that's gotta be a metaphor for like the dark side of yourself. And then she takes off the mask and it is herself. And I'm like, that's so cool. And I love I love how the video was made with her actually being kept captive in a dark cave. Yeah. Because when you're in your thoughts, that's what it's like. You don't see the outside world yeah. anymore. It's, I, I especially, I actually get this when I'm caught in my thoughts, I look down. Yeah. So it is like being held, held captive. Um, music. Less immediately catchy than the other one. So more, better. Yes. We're more, sur music, more, so surpri like. more surprising. Yeah. Uh, more twists and turns. And the build up. That was my favorite part of the song. And the layering. And how she makes her own choirs. That's, that's really cool. Yeah. And then doubles. So, so you have like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then you have double solo, guitar and keyboard, and then you have the build up. Yeah. I didn't even follow the structure that well because I was hooked in the video. But what stayed with me the most were the choirs. Mm -hmm. They had kind of an Epica vibe, but like the darker sides of Epica. Like what you see on um, Ascension or what, what would it be? Uh, Victims of Contingency. You know, like the really dramatic stuff. Skeleton Key? Yeah, yeah. That's that's the closer to the vibe I was getting because that's actually got a creepy undertone. Yeah, I think I was going for the others because of the dynamic because mm -hmm. this was a really high, fast-paced song as well. Mm -hmm. And what I really like about the set that what you said that it had more twists and turns that also like that's also like very reflective of an inner struggle. Yeah, or something like that. It's not it's not as clear and straightforward. Yeah, everything's uncertain, and you're always doubting or second guessing or struggling or all that it's i i it, i'm struggling to find my words because it hit me more personally than the other she has done something in this video that is more difficult than anything any of us will ever do what running in heels yes that's gotta that's gotta be even more of a struggle than the inner struggle how do you yeah. do that well if you can run in heels your dark side has nothing on you yeah <laughs> Okay, I'm really happy with this, and I'm even more excited for the uh, for the upcoming songs than I was so far. I feel like it's the kind of song where it deserves a better review than I'm capable of giving it after one listen. Yeah, because it's really striking, and it's hard to gather all your thoughts. Yes. So yeah, I'm a bit lost for words here, and maybe it's better for me to just leave it at that. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to start finding my inner dark me. He probably looks like an orc. What about their legs? They don't need those. Are we done here? Yes! So if you enjoyed this reaction, we'd greatly appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe with bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your day, and we'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Of course, see you out.